Hey, so I'm Callum Nolan and I am a former kids TV star. You might recognise me most famously from my programme, uh, That's Not My Mum. <laughs> that was, you know, my most uh, prominent series. Jack and Ori, I was in the background of a few, maybe playing with toys. I actually uh, voiced a beetle in one of the Beatrix Potter um, episodes. So that's a little bit about my career, the most prominent parts, I'd say. In That's Not My Mum, uh, the premise obviously was each week you'd come home and mum had been kidnapped and replaced by a different creature. Oh, memories. Uh, what was your favourite episode? Oh, well, oh, so many to choose from. Well, there was one episode where I came home and I said, that's not my mum. And there was nothing there. And I, I just, I just stood there and I thought, what am I doing? Why am I doing, I'm five, I don't need to, I, I don't need this, this could lead to some sort of adult trauma and that was, that was the most prominent episode for me because that's when I realised that, you know, children stars just end up delusional, they end up down a dark path and I don't want to end up like that, otherwise it's probably the episode where I came home and she was replaced by a sloth, now that was, that was peak, that was peak. And it is, lucky really, you are one of those child stars that doesn't seem to have fallen into the usual traps that a lot of child stars do after they get older and they struggle to find work. But you did start a religion. I did, yeah. So not many people know about it. It's not in the press, but, you know, I've been talking about it a lot now. I did dabble in heroin when I was 13. And I think that really sort of helped me out of that child phase. It really sort of helped me grow up. But I did start a religion. You know, it's called <laughs> That's Not My Mum because, you know, people know me from that. And basically what I found in this religion is that I brought so many people together and we look out and say, that's not my mum. That's all of our mums. Like, the bird in the trees, they are our mum. They look after us. They're part of the ecosystem. This tree might not be my mum, but they're supporting me more than she ever did. So are you basically saying that heroin's good? After a lot of used needles, I think that's really when you find yourself. Recently, you've started your own petition and campaign to reboot That's Not My Mum with the same cast. So I'm so glad you brought that up. I think, I think today there's a lot of young people who don't see themselves represented on TV. Like I know so many young people who come home and instead of their mum, it, it is a different animal. And you know, it might be that they work on a farm, but for a lot of times in the suburbs, people will come home and suddenly there will be an anteater in the living room and they'll say, that's not my mum. And they get this feeling, this feeling of, of excitement, of enjoyment. And I, I want to bring that back. I want to bring that to the forefront of television so people can really feel represented for those moments where their mum might not be there, but an entity is. Is it true that whilst you were working on the show your own mother had become an alcoholic yeah she really she really got lit she's truly she's truly a remarkable person you know she she died but in, you know in her will she always made sure that a zookeeper lived next door so i always had that animal and i could walk in and go it's not my mum she really got access to those drinks you know like bruce forsyth we were great friends and he would throw wicked parties like in one corner you'd have spin the bottle in another corner he'd be tap dancing you know he'd be tap dancing and it was really something where she just drank a lot she once took me to disneyland <laughs> Grant granted she put me down as like an ill kid so we got in for free even though we did have the money to go but we went, and I'll tell you, Mickey Mouse, <laughs> he could give good hugs. <laughs> oh. Tell us about your new self-funded, self-shot uh, web series. Well, everyone's doing a web series now, aren't they? Like, I mean, every white man has got a web series or a podcast or something. So I thought, clearly there's a market for it. So, I, you know, I, I've called it, that's not my web series now you might think oh it's, that's not my mom no but it's actually about the pits of religion and how 
we find ourselves through our faith. And actually what it is, we eat a lot of pizza, like a lot of pizza. But somewhere in that calzone mess, we find ourselves. Everyone remembers last year when you were on I'm a Celebrity and you managed to convert half the camp to the that's not my mother religion. And a lot of celebrities turned out had really sad stories about their parents. Yeah, well, I think the most prominent moment for me was when Kim Kardashian actually abandoned Kanye West and his religious um, journey. And she actually looked at me and said, that's not my Kanye. It was if we had this connection because she remembered going home one day and her mother had had her cheeks done, lips done. And, you know, in the press, she looked stunning. But Kim looked at her and went, that's not my mother. And there was something, when she said that, I knew we had this instant connection. I knew there was something going on. Another really prominent one was Kim Woodburn. Now, she can clean. Obviously, your Callum Nolan from That's Not My Mother, series one, two, four. But in series, and the Christmas spin-off. And the Christmas the spin-off. Christmas. But in series five, your character of Nathan was replaced um, by by a different actor. I mean, what's the story there? I thought I could trust Cole Sprouse to play my brother. I really did. I really thought that we had this great connection and that, you know, series one to four, we really got on and he'd discover the animal with me and we just have the same wavelength of how we felt and, you know, the writers just knew how to get into it. And then when they, they took him out and when they replaced him with David Schwimmer, I really sort of felt disjointed disconnected and you know he'd come in with the animals but all he talked about was his you know oh i was on friends and it's like well now you're here now david schwimmer you're here well cole sprouse was written out the show because he was actually cast in the american remake of that's not my mother which is now in its uh, 12th season won several emmys and golden globes um i mean You've been very quiet about it previously, but is there any bad blood there? <laughs> yes. Yes, there is. Now, lots of your fans are going to be watching this, um, and I'm sure they'd love to hear you do your catchphrase. I'm just going to have a... The potatoes are grounded this year. <laughs> People pay £50 for me to say that at parties, so... Oh, I thought it was going to be, uh, that's not my mother. Yeah. I mean, that's... Oh, no, Cole Sprouse was the one who said that most. Oh, that's yep. right. Yep, he was. I forgot the potato thing. Yeah. I never really got it. <laughs>